wasn't really until kindergarten and first and second grade when we really started talking to each other. We were always the kids that were the smart ones, and we had the third grade reading books when we were in first grade. And then um, we met again in junior high, but um, just we would sit by each other and be in class. And I always, I could have been first chair, but I always pretended that I was worse so I could sit by Jake and be second chair because he was third chair. And we spent every day talking and laughing and then that's kind of how we started becoming good friends right away. Probably goes back to like first and second grade. We met each other um, with all first and second graders. It's pretty foggy in your memory. So really the first time that I really remember interacting with Allie was in junior high band. We ended up sitting by each other in eighth grade and we really connected as like friends. We played pranks on each other. And I really, you know, got to know the person. I knew she was bright and intelligent. And what really captivated, captivated me about Allie was her smile. She she had braces on, but she just had a beautiful smile. And I, I really fell in love with that. The butterflies hit when I first saw her smile. We sat by her at band, and we talked, we laughed. And right then I knew that I wanted to get to know that person a lot better. And you know, kind of have that schoolboy crush right there right in junior high band. Once I got to know Jake, my first impression was that one of them was that how quiet he was. I thought that was really interesting. He was like one of the shyest boys in our grade when it came to talking to girls. And even the other girls told me, um, they said we were the perfect pair, but that Jake wouldn't go out with me because he doesn't, he doesn't date anyone. So I kind of felt special just because he was talking to me in band and uh, one time he called and asked me to the movies, so that made, really made me feel special. And he would ask me to dance, when usually the girls would be the ones that ask the boys to dance in the junior high dances. So my first impression really was just how quiet he was, and I was shy, and I thought that was really cute. We've been almost together for seven years, so I really can't pick and choose one specific memory. I mean, everything's been great. So I'll go with something a little on the humor side of things. Uh, I think it was last year, it was like on a Friday night and Allie said, well, let's go to Kansas City and go to Worlds of Fun tomorrow. And they had a Halloween haunt fest. So, you know, Allie, she has, you know, a lot of ideas and usually I run with them. She makes me do new things. And so we packed up that Saturday morning, I think at five in the morning and drove all the way down to Kansas City, got there, spent the day, rode rides. And at night they have the Halloween haunt fest where they have five or six different haunted houses across worlds of fun. And so she was all excited to go to these and looking forward to that all day. And then we get in line and the first one is, it's a dollhouse kind of thing. And we're, we had fast passes, we were first in line. We get about five or six steps in and I look back and I hear screaming and Allie's having a panic attack right in the middle of, of the dollhouse. And all the people that are scaring us keep on scaring us and she's, you know, fake vomiting and so I had to get the person next to me, the one of the people that was uh, doing the haunt and I tapped him on the shoulder and I said hey we have a problem and I had to carry over my shoulder out through the, the haunted house and then drag her out through the rest of Worlds of Fun and then we ended up selling our fast passes and it was only 8.30 and we were planning on being there until midnight and then ended up driving back to Lincoln that night but it kind of just shows that you know there's always something new and adventurous in the relationship even after you know seven years. I have a sister, a mom, and me, and then my dad. So we have a lot of girls and we kind of do our own thing and dad does his own thing. Dad likes racing a lot and racing cars and Jake likes basketball but they both like Husker football so they get along there. Um, I think they both kind of learn to like see each other's interests so I mean they love him. We all love him. So he fits in really well. Allie really fits in my family. Uh, we're pretty guy oriented on my side of the family. So Allie, you know, is another daughter for my mom and another uh, a sister for my, my sister Kristen. And so she really fits in that in that regards. So then my grandparents have, you know, she's just another granddaughter. We do family functions. Uh, we go fishing with my grandparents. Allie even she pulled me into the into the lake in front of my grandparents one time. So. She really fits in the family, she's really gelled, and you know, that, that's something that I really love about her. When you grow up with someone, it's really hard to pick like one moment where you just know that you're gonna be together forever because 
When I first met Jake and I knew that I liked him, I kind of thought the whole time that we were, I didn't really see us never, I didn't really see us not being friends, if that makes sense. And so there comes a point in time too where you realize that life without that person just isn't possible. When we first started dating, I really got to know her. I think we talked for the first four or five months of our relationship. I don't think we kissed for four or five months. And I think that's really unusual. We developed a really great bond as friends before we, we really started our relationship. And you know, as time progressed through high school, I just kind of knew that, you know, there wasn't really another woman that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I knew Ali kind of felt that same way. And so I really, there wasn't a specific point in time I just prayed to God at night that I wouldn't mess things up and that, you know, someday Allie would, would be my wife. I mean, we knew we wanted to get married and we kind of knew when we wanted to get married, but we also decided that we didn't want to talk about it with each other because then it would make it less special, it wouldn't be a surprise, there'd be pressure. So we kind of, I mean, we talked about it a couple years ago when we wanted to get married and that kind of thing, but we never talked about it before. I asked, I asked uh, Mark, for Allie's hand in marriage the week before actually that uh, I was going to propose to her. I didn't tell him I was going to propose to her that next week but I think Kentucky was playing in the NCAA tournament and he is down in his basement um, and the, the girls had went to the girls had went to Walmart for to get something so I went downstairs and you know I was just watching the game with him and then I brought up the question and he was he was thrilled and you know, he said he loved me and that he always thought of me as a son and couldn't wait to have me in there. Leading up to it, um, it was kind of, I had to pick a certain date because Allie, she has a candle passing ceremony at Gamify. And I think someone in the house before was like the week before and then the next week was finals week in April. So I really wanted to do it so she could have her candle passing ceremony because I knew that was special to her. So I think it ended up being on uh, April Fool's Day. Uh, it was the night that he proposed. We had just finished up Mom's Day at my sorority, and he he wanted to take me out to dinner to celebrate my acceptance in medical school. And so he comes in like a shirt and tie, khaki pants, and my friends and I are just like, "Why are you so dressed up?" And you know, I told him like, "Yeah, I'm taking Allie out to to eat, celebrate for getting into med school early." So I picked her up and started driving down by campus and Allie's like where are we going and I said well we're gonna have a picnic so we we met out in front of CBA uh, College Business Administration in the lawn and I had you know KFC I made pasta salad I had some fruit had a blanket out he lays it all out and he asked me if I want to go to the Lee Center ballet that night and I said yes and I just remember too that he kept asking me all these questions while we were eating and he wouldn't talk at all and I was like why aren't you talking and he just said oh I just want to hear you talk and so I kind of knew something was up then and then we went on a walk while we waited for our, our ballet to start. So we start walking around uh, campus and Ali was kind of upset because she was carrying all the picnic stuff and she wanted to take the stuff back to the car. Well I had the engagement ring and like one of my little lunch coolers and I, you know, I couldn't take that back because I couldn't put it in my pocket because then it would bulge out. So we're just, you know, walking through here and we walk down the steps right behind us here and that's when I asked her to spend the rest of my life, her life with me and asked her to marry me. And while that was happening, Seth was up over the corner here and uh, he got everything on, uh, on camera. And I think at the same time I had my iPod and I played the first song that we danced to, I think in junior high women we were you know really good friends and I think it was uh, Allison Krauss like when you say nothing at all so we had all that and Seth came and ran us gave us a hug and we took some pictures we went to see Moulin Rouge and then told our friends and our family that night and then the next day it hit Facebook and it was crazy one of the most important things about the wedding day is like promising yourself to each other and just knowing that you're gonna be husband and wife forever. But the thing that I'm most looking forward to is being able to do that in front of all our friends and family. Um, we have invited a lot of people and we have a lot of people that are important to us. And so I think it's, it'll just mean so much to us to have all those people there supporting us and us being able to share our love story with them too. What I'm really looking forward to the most is, you know, getting all of our family and friends that love us and 
have them celebrate our marriage with us and you know just seeing Allie walk down down the aisle in her wedding dress and the emotion that's gonna bring and I'm just really looking forward like I said to the wedding seeing all our hard work that that we put into it that really Allie's put into it to plan and make sure everything runs smoothly at a wedding and a reception and just hopefully that everyone can have a good time in celebrating our marriage. I mean part of me wants to say that I hope it stays the same because we, we have a good thing going but at the same time I know that it can get better and our love can mature and we can mature and we're going to go through some tough times and I think that will make us stronger so I hope that I guess just changing after we're married I hope that we just keep maturing together. I mean we've grown up together and we went through high school and college together and so I hope just as we grow and mature together that that will change. I mean just not who we are as people but just our love and keep continue to grow. Once we're married I really don't imagine a lot being different. We've really um, relied on each other throughout, really throughout college. Um, we've, we've always been each other's best friends. We've always been a part of each other's day. We've always talked to each other. Um, I really just think an expansion upon everything, building our relationship, getting to know each other, one another better, to love each other better. I love him. Um my husband now soon. Um, he's honest, sincere, he's really genuine. People that know him know that he only says what he, what he means. He's very sincere. He's my best friend. I mean, he always has been and he always will be. When I sit here, Alice and Skidmore, I think of loving, caring, and kind. And not and motivated. She's dedicated. She's driven. She's very ambitious. And thoughtful. It'll make me feel good because I know that I'm going to wake up to the same person every day of my life. I'll be, he'll be the, I'll be the mother of his children and we'll both be sitting out on our front porch in our rockers when we're 80 years old. So I think it makes me feel really happy and safe and secure and I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm one of the happiest guys in the world. I'm excited. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with Allie. Um, it's going to be an adventure. Uh, with Allie, there's always something new and exciting. You know, there's never a dull moment. And like I said before, you know, she has that smile and it's intoxicating her personality. And you know, I still have those butterflies, and I, I hope to have those. I, I plan to have those butterflies until the day we die and we grow old together.